Good morning, evening, whatever it is for you. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to regain control over the grass in your raised bed. Uh, this is a bed I put in just last year. Put down the cardboard and everything, but this grass was really, really strong glass, grass. And it came right up through everything. You can see it right here. Um, so I'm going to be prepping this bed for summer use. And in the process, I'll be doing some things to prevent the grass from coming through anymore. And I'll show you how that's done in case you've put in one and suddenly the grass starts popping through and you're like, uh, now what do I do? Anyhow, uh, just to show you, this one here used to be just as bad last year. This bed's been in here a couple of years. And you can see I've eradicated most all the grass out of here. Probably finish it up this year. So I'll be back here in a bit. I'm going to show you all the pre-work I'll do to it before I start getting it set up to kill off the grass. But I do want to get some some nutrients into the ground and stuff for this growing year. You can see I've added my uh, amendments for this year. Some uh, humus, some little manure, a little chicken manure. The wood chips were mixed in with the chicken manure, so it's more of those than I'd like to have, but the chicken manure should offset the, the nitrogen use. So anyhow, you get your bed, uh, all your additives in there that you want to get in there for this year because you're not going to be able to get back in there. You can use liquid fertilizers and you can fertilize uh, right around the base of the plants, but that'll be the, all, the only fertilization that you'll be able to do for the rest of this year under this system. Okay, so what I've done there is I have dug out along the inside edge of my bed. Yeah, you can see here. And the reason being is I'm going to lift this wood up and I am going to put a heavy grade landscaping plastic over here. The grass cannot penetrate it. Okay. Now, for me, this works a double purpose because by making it high around the edges when I water, it helps my water stay right here in my bed and not go off into the pathways. If you live in an area that gets excessive amount of rain or you just, you know, you get a lot of water, you might want to level what you've dug up back up because you are going to leave a little bit of an angle on the sides. Over a period of the season, it'll level back out. But once you put the plastic in there, there's no way to get back and readjust this unless you want to just hit on top of the plastic. And well, I don't really know how much trouble that would end up giving you. But anyhow, my next step now is to go ahead and uh, pick up the wood, stick the plastic up underneath it, and then I'll put the wood back down. That will seal all of the grass under the wood and under the plastic. And then what I'll do is I will put cardboard in my walkways and cover that with mulch. The plastic will actually go out a couple inches into the walkway all the way around. Okay, and then when I put the cardboard over it, it's going to keep that grass from coming up on the outside there. Basically, I'm trying to get rid of all grass in my garden. Uh, but I have another thing that I'll be doing, and I'll be back here to show you that when uh, when I get the, the rest of this done. So, Okay, there you are. Now this would work really good, and this is the way I will do like tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, squash, all of the hot weather crops. Um, but this bed is going to be cabbage, the whole bed. I'll put in, I don't know, a couple dozen cabbages in there. And that could be a problem, and you have to always consider th this. I am artificially heating the ground with this black plastic, which is a good thing where I live for tomatoes and squash and peppers and things that like warm seasons. But cabbage does not like warm season. So what I will be doing, and I'll show you a video after I get it all done, because my next step now is to, I'm going to use a torch and 
burn little holes to plant my cabbage into here. And the idea behind the torch is you don't get all those fraying edges that melts it all. At least that's what I've been told. If that doesn't work, I'll let you know. But uh, after I get them planted, what I will be doing is I will actually cover all of this plastic and cardboard to prevent the sun from overheating the ground of my cool weather crops. So that's something to keep in mind if you're planting something, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, something like that that likes cool weather, and you're going to use the black plastic, you're probably going to want to put some sort of a mulch on top of it. Now I have tons of uh, pine needles and that might be an option. I also have a couple piles of wood chips that I've been chipping up, but I'll put something on there. I won't leave that black plastic like that for this crop. Now if this was tomatoes, I'd be popping them in. Of course they'd freeze to death because we still got another month before our last frost, but anyhow, be that as it may, I love that saying. I'll be back here in a couple of minutes. To... Okay, I just thought I'd show you here how well this works. My brother taught me, told me about this, so I tried it. Here's my torch. See that? Look yeah. Pretty neat. Okay. That's enough of that. Be back. So like, yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, I like that. Thank you, brother. Yeah, all right. That's pretty cool. So anyhow, as you can see, I chose to go with the pine needles. It's just a lot easier in trying to get the cardboard down on that. But here, I set it up so you can see what I was talking about. Putting the cardboard here, overlapping the black plastic. So any weeds and grass will have a pretty tough time getting around there, but this time of year it's pretty windy. You can see how many rocks it takes to hold that down. But what I'll do is I'll put mulch, more pine needles down here or wood mulch, uh, whatever I happen to have. And I'll do that down in, in between my beds and everything and eventually just kill out every bit of grass here in my backyard. That'd make me happy. Anyhow, that's how you... Uh, stop the grass from coming up in your coming up there in your raised beds 